Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video I present you snippets from the 8 races I took to get to the D license around Charlotte Motor Speedway in the Street Stock Rookies series. I cut the uninteresting parts out of them so some of the races will be really short for you. Yeah, so you don't get bored to that. Uh, and I forgot to start I overlay for this, so <laughs> I'm sorry for that. I know it was suggested a couple of times already and I have it, but I forgot. And my mark covers the default telemetry of iRacing, but it's street stops, you know. The car stays in the fort all the time and it's pretty much flat out unless you run over somebody. I promise I'll fire it up uh, next time. And one last thing. Give me some feedback if you like or dislike uh, stuff you see me do in these videos. If you find I cut a race too much uh, or you want me to talk about something specific, just tell me. I increased the fove a bit for you to be able to see more to the window, you know. You probably can see my bad pose in this video. It's because I cranked up the FFB and I really struggled to keep making the left. <laughs> for 20 plus laps and if I stay uh, that close to the wheel I feel I can control it better I, mean, I feel this thing can break bones and without further ado let's get into the, the race number one I have the great practice session followed by a great qualifying so yeah <laughs> great start what can i say people's cars are a mess from the start somehow yeah it happens i let number six go in front there is no need for drama at this point no. Number 10 and number 5 are closing in fast and I I go up. I don't want to fight people too much at the beginning. There's the bottom. Then I wrecked my car completely with no apparent reason. I have no clue what why I did that. So yeah. After I pit, I safely rejoin the track and my purpose become to finish the race in one piece, you know, and let everyone pass, of course. I was done with it. The bottom. Inside. I finish in P8. Race numero dos. I skip qualifying altogether and end up on 13. Green, 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 number 7 gets a little slap. <laughs> on his cheeks as he is sleeping apparently and we proceed with the race I take it slow determined not to end my race again like the previous one not due to my own fault anyway so everyone who wants a freebie can get it I end up in P6, pretty uneventful race, and that's good, I believe. Race number 3, I start in 9th, green flag is out, and here we go. I stay at a respectable distance from these guys, I got some space between me and the guys in the back, no, but not enough, they still got some draft for sure. Number 9 being a great driver, pins number 13 to the wall because reasons. And I run straight into it. <laughs> Not realizing our trajectory will meet, no. 
did the wrong estimation. I'm glad I'm muted in some of these crashes, by the way, because I swear during this. Somehow my car is still going, so yeah. I wonder if it will be slower though. A lap car takes out a car that's leading him with the lap. Then he hits the wall and starts drifting towards me. And yeah, I hit his car, then the wall. God damn it, man. Yep, I'm done. Thank you, Steven, you muppet. Uh, I enter pizza and check everything, but the fast repair thingy, I'm out. Nice, so I figured out how to make use of that great feature. It looks like I'm going to need it. I finished 11th. Such a shit show, man. Well, no time for self-pity. Race for... <laughs> is starting. This one I had the immense pleasure to be entertained by a guy named Dave the entire 10 race. Cool chap I bet when you're drinking with him but annoying as hell on the service. I know I can mute uh, people but I prefer uh, to have it on just to hear if, if I don't know someone has something useful to, to say you know. Number 8 is having a go on the outside. Go for it my man. Take it. The number 3 has the same idea. Sure, bro. But then number 3, the imbecile, forgot his spotter didn't mention his left side is clear. And he runs me over. Yeah, sure. Great racing, bro. Yeah, to number 3. I was tilted, fuming, and no idea why I did what I did. Maybe you tell me. Finished 8. Could be worse, I guess. Race number 5. I turned off the camera as it was getting dark outside and I don't have cool streamer lights, you know. By this point I didn't care as much as about other safety as I did at the start of the day. I mean, I still didn't want to wreck people, god forbid, but I just wanted to push a little more, you know. I turned up the racy level a few notches. I didn't qualify anyway and I started the back, but in a few spots as people hit the wall. Bro, just fuck off, man, really. Jesus Christ, it's like he picked me out of everyone else. But s somehow I'm still going, so we are good. I see number 8 on the side of the road as I turn and barely dodge another crash. But somehow I save it, I don't know how. I'll call it luck. My 8 incident points are enough already, please, for the love of God. In lap 13, I meet a guy who I think got some damage because he was crawling. Why not entering pits, my guy? Lap 18, I let number 12 pass me on the inside, not realizing I gave up podium. Great one, Chris. You suck. Uh, yeah. Chris is me, by the way. <laughs> Race number 6. I don't even remember, but I guess I qualified for this one and got P6. I barely stay inside the draft of the guys in front and I think the ones in the back are not in mine. Some hot shots in front create a mess and I overreacted this time. Enough times I got wrecked today thinking nah it will not turn into me. I almost crashed but I saved it somehow but I'm slow. So <laughs> Volodymyr over here can have his way with me. I stop the flood and stabilize somehow. 
work together, work together. Then I hit the wall and set the fastest lap at the same time, allowing 13 to pass me. Then he gets Zelen uh, and Volodymyr on the inside and I get into his draft and pass him too. Sort of. It's nice when you keep it together and just race, you know? Next corner, number 11 falls behind, finally. Thank you, number four. Then in the next one, he turns faster and goes on the inside. It's okay, bro, take it. Michelle in the front has Australian internet and starts jumping all over the place. Nice one. Anyway, close racing with these two, with no incidents. Please, make it a good race. I need it. Lap 10, 10 to go. My god, my arm and shoulder are dead. Really need to turn down the FFP with this. We squeeze in in front of 13 like we did to 11 earlier. But 13 wants none of that, it seems. But falls in line finally. I bet he lifted a bit. I got an idea, but I give up on it as my guy closes that door. That team tries it though, and I go down this time. Five, I stay with you. Let's go, bro. Finally race and see you on the two.
I messed this up by not committing on the inside. This allows the team to squeeze in. Clear to the bottom. Nada, ahí vamos remontando poco a poco. I can't figure out if four is being a prick here or just oblivious. Team dives in and I go after him. I learned this move in this race is pretty cool. The car that's overtaken has no room to go down. Team does it in a corner to Volodymyr in front. What a piece of shit, bro. And I agree. God damn it, my car is toast. I barely steer again. Oh, thanks, Obama. Uh, I mean, Michel. So, yeah, great race, but ended up in P10 because of a wrong move. What can I say? It is, it is what it is. Race 7. Green flag, let's do this. No more pain, please. <laughs> Starting in the back. It's on me if I get wrecked again. Mark in front of me is all over the place and I pass him like an idiot. I should have known he comes back down as he always seems. But it's okay. Just a little tap. I'm fine. He's fine. Grady is limping on the pits, I hope. Lap 6, I got to the next group of cars that are a bit behind the leading pack. My instinct told me to go into the middle of these guys, but I didn't think I would enjoy that much. So I completely lift, letting things settle for a bit. Seven taps out. As number 8 makes room for some reason, I stay in number 4's draft and pass it. Is next though, so I do it. The first chance I get. I got P5 after I was last. This feels like I got podium by this point, not going to lie. Alright, it's chicken flag. Great job, driver.
Race 8. All my muscles hurt from this basement. Catch up. Bye, ciao. Look, they are wrecking each other before the green light. Jesus Christ, bro. I believe the white car should be on the outside, but still. No reason to run him over green like that. Flag, Whatever, man. Boys will be boys, am I right? Green flag is up. Let's do this. Zero incidence points. Please, tell me in the comments if you want something specific to see in these overlays, as I have no clue what I need. What annoys me about them is the fact that I can't set my pits. Or maybe I can, but I have no idea how to set Inside. Look at them. Look, look, look. Don't touch me, please. And I have no steering. It's it's so loose. God damn it, my man. How the hell? I got tapped just a bit and I'm wrecked. GG, what, what can I say? I, I did what I could to avoid it. Oh, I see. He smashed me in the front. I thought he, it was in the back. Well, shit happens. It did make sense then uh, why my steering was broken like that. The sad thing oh, is, yeah. I got pissed for nothing, as there's nobody's fault really. The racing just happened. Yeah. So, anyway, I pit. Luckily, I set up my pits. So, I used the fast repairs before we started rolling. So, it's done ASAP. And can move on. Yeah. Let's see what I can salvage now. Look at my face. <laughs> I feel sorry for myself. <laughs> oh man, I'm fuming. Now, now I'm into I don't give a shit mode. Now I enter hey, I want to catch those guys mode. Mini objectives, bro. Mini objectives. Yeah, last lap I caught the pack, got to P5 somehow and defended for some reason against a lap car, I believe. No idea how grid I overlay yet. Red means laps in front and blue behind, I believe. I have no clue. Great job, driver. And this is it, guys. If you want to see me try in Class D, we'll do some Arca Menard series. But, but we'll do it if you seriously like this. So it's pushed to more people, as I don't fancy buying a car and two, three tracks to do overs for not. I'll do some more in the rookies anyway in the future for sure. But I need a cooldown anyway, as this was more tilting than fun. Thank you so much for watching. Throw some love back at me in the form of likes and comments and even sub if you, I don't know, fancy what I'm doing here. This channel is focusing on all games, by the way. So, yeah, take a look around. If we click, give me a sub. Love you all. Take care. And until next time, see ya.